I still have no idea what I'm going to call this series. So starting the day off with a little bit of a walk, playing a little bit of Pokemon Go, and you may be thinking, well, that doesn't have anything to do with Nerf, why are you talking about that? And bear with me for that. I've been trying to get out more and more and get in shape and do more walking, and the reason, well, I need to get in shape. Uh, nerfing is great for getting in shape, but you're only nerfing maybe once a week. It's not an everyday thing, so I need something to be out every day to get myself re-energized, re-acclimated uh, re to physical activity, and the reason is... Yes, that is correct. My travel plans are made. Things are booked. I've got a place to stay. I am going to end war, and I am absolutely stoked about it. I'm actually very nervous about it as well because this is my first major trip anywhere since I started dealing with my anxiety and health issues and all that kind of stuff but still I have been wanting to go to a major nerf event for as long as I have been nerfing and now we finally have some and I want to be there. I want to meet everybody. I want to nerf with everybody and I am absolutely stoked to have a table at Foamcom where I'll be able to meet Everyone that's there, anyone that wants to stop by and say hello, I would love to chat. Uh, so this is this is big for me in that I need to get in shape. I need to get healthy. I need to uh, be able to be active for a full weekend. Right now, my health sits in a spot where I, if I go out to a day event, like I host a game for BTA, the next day I'm dead. I, I'm well, I'm not dead. I'm I'm very very physically exhausted and worn out and I cannot I can't run multiple days in a row currently my body just doesn't want to cooperate so I need to get back in physical fitness shape that I used to be in and I miss so so much because it really is a great thing to be physically fit so that's where I'm at right now and and part of the reason I'm trying to get myself out walking every single day why one of the reasons I've, I've reinstalled Pokemon Go just to go and, and kind of motivate myself to go out and walk for an hour or something like that just to kind of build that little bit of a, a baseline before I go run myself into the ground at the gym which this is one of my biggest problems a little little tangent here I suppose is that <laughs> Every time I try and get in shape, I overdo it. I don't, I don't do moderation well. So instead of a jog, I go for a sprint, uh, and, and I always injure myself. So I'm trying to ease myself into it. But regardless, the fact is, plans are set for End War. I'm super excited and can't wait to meet everybody that is going to be there. And I hope to see. You there, and I hope you stop by and say hello, and I hope we get to have some fun uh, playing some HVZ. There's still a lot to get done to prep for End War, including Getting more socks, finishing up blasters, deciding what gear I'm going to wear, what I'm going to bring, what I'm going to have at my table, all kinds of things that I still got to figure out. But I'm uh, excited and nervous to do so, and uh, that actually leads us to the next thing we're going to do today. If you were looking closely in the last video, uh, you probably saw this shell sitting on the desk here, and it's something I have been working on for a while. It's going to be the Fabu Stripe, and I made some kind of decisions on the way I wanted to move forward with it. So I've always planned on cutting this out to put a, to give myself the option to have 180s or 132s or whatever size motors I really want. Uh, but I had the thought that I kind of wanted some Picatinny up at the front as an option here, but didn't really want to do all the body work in its own. So I picked up some of the worker kind of little infill pieces here. The issue I ran into is they don't quite line up nice and smooth and there's some gaps in there that it's just it's not the cleanest looking so when i was bonding it i, I picked up some uh devcon plastic welder welder to kind of adhere this to the shell so it was good but i didn't really like these short 
cure time and, and dealing with that. And it doesn't really fill the way I wanted it to. Then I remembered a video from Mr. Nathan and picked up some epoxy sculpt. So I'm gonna use this since it's not really massively, you know, structural integrity stuff we're dealing with here. It's just, it's just filling some gaps. And this seems like it could be a better choice for it. So uh, I, wanna, I wanna mess with this and see how well we can work it. Okay, this, uh, this might not work. learning things. Uh, that was definitely interesting. Uh, I realized once I started putting things together that this was kind of similar to the green stuff that I used to use when I worked at a games workshop uh, where you mix two separate uh, materials together and you kept like a putty that you get to work with, use that and you can sculpt into it out for over an extended period to kind of get what you want as a result. Now the difference is uh, I was used to using this on a very small scale on miniature models where I had like an X-Acto blade and I kind of got to really get in there. This I was wearing gloves that were too big. Uh, I thought large was the right size to get gloves after putting on the glove that was too small. It was a small and uh, so I went with a large but those were so baggy that I couldn't, I couldn't really get the detail that I wanted, I couldn't use my fingers the way I wanted to because all the excess, uh, whatever material it is, kept bunching up and, and dragging across the material. So it was a really hard time getting things even remotely smooth. And so I started using like a, a, a popsicle stick to try and smooth things out with little success. I bought some modeling tools a while back, but I don't know where they went. So I may have to buy some new ones for something like this. But we did, we got a little bit of progress and I learned a decent amount in terms of how I want to use this. I also mixed way more than I needed, which I have a feeling a fair number of people do their first time. So I've got a bunch that's going to sit here and dry up and go to waste, but tis what it is, we learned. Um, but I, I am making more work for myself through this. I'm going to have to sand this down again once it dries tomorrow and uh, probably find a bunch of gaps and spots that I miss or need to redo. But I'm okay with that. It, it's a good learning process. It's another thing I can add to my uh, little bits of knowledge from this hobby. And that's something that I really, really love about this hobby is that I can continue to learn and continue to find more and more things that are interesting that I can add and try and 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 make things with. So that's just one way I'm trying to look at it. It's like, you know, may I, it may not have uh, went as smoothly as I would have liked, but I'm learning and I'll be able to sand it down, find the spots I missed or the spots that are problems and go from there. Uh, one thing I'll definitely say though, for anyone looking to work with epoxy sculpt that hasn't before, get the right size gloves and get tools, get proper tools that will help you sculpt and, and make the lines you want, all that stuff. Definitely worth. That's gonna do it for today's episode. We're gonna continue working on this project as we go in future episodes, along with plenty of other things, but I'm excited to see what I can learn and continue to improve upon with this blaster. I wanna get it done for and or that is my goal to have a nice new primary for that event, which I am super excited about and looking forward to hopefully meeting a bunch of you there and getting to nerf with all of you. So until the next one. Oh,